Hey guys, what's going on? So the reason why I'm making this video is because I want to raise awareness of this problem because lots of people won't be able to play basically. So just for clarification, this won't affect fiber and cable users because they have a lot of upload bandwidth to begin with. Uh, this is mostly a problem for ADSL users or very crappy saturated 4G connections with subpar upload speeds. I would say anything lower than 2 megabits upload bandwidth and you're gonna have this problem. So starting off with a bit of an explanation, most ADSL users will have about a 1 megabit upload bandwidth which will translate to about 125 kilobytes per second and this is very important that you understand. As you know, with ADSL, when you're close to using all your available bandwidth, both in downstream and upstream, you will get terrible latency spikes, packet loss and lots of rubber banding. I've loaded up the practice mode where I can reproduce the problem and I've also installed net limiter so you guys can see in real time how much upstream Valorant uses and show you that the lag problems that some of you have in game is due to the fact that the game is using a lot more upstream bandwidth than what it's supposed to when you have very high FPS. And now I'm gonna unlock my FPS and since I have got a Coffee Lake CPU overclocked to 4.8 GHz I'm able to get a lot of FPS and you're gonna see what that will do to my upstream bandwidth usage and game. As you can see my client is unplayable, latency spikes, packet loss and rubber banding. This will be even worse in a real match and on the right take a look at my upstream bandwidth usage. It completely goes all over the place and I even have spikes to over 100 kilobytes per second. I have never seen any other game do this. Even CSGO with 128 ticket rate servers, the max upload bandwidth I will see is typically about 17 to 18 kilobytes per second, regardless of my FPS. Battle Royale games like PUBG, I have never seen anything higher than 15 kilobytes per second. So clearly, this is an issue that needs to be addressed. Even if this doesn't affect people with good internet speeds, you gotta ask yourself, what the hell are you sending to the servers when you're sending 4 times more data compared to the other games? Also, as a side note, I noticed that in the 200 to 300 FPS range in the practice mode, you won't lag, but in a real match, you will lag a lot. So my recommendation is to just find a value under 200 FPS and see what works for you. I am using 165 for now as a temporary fix. Thanks for watching and please, if you have any friends with the same problem, show them this video or just tell them to limit their frame rate to a number like 165.